Uh, I was about to smell these, but I just realized I've been wearing these for like a few days now, so not gonna happen. Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. Back for the very first time, man. The very first time. This is the Air Jordan 10 in the Seattle colorway. Y'all need to bring the songs back. NBA. Commissioner. What's his name? Adam Silver? I was gonna say Gordon. Different commish. A very cool one though. But Adam Silver, I'm for real. Get the owners together. We need another team in Seattle. They need to be called the Supersonics. You can't f around and do that Charlotte sh Call them the Bobcats because my name is Bob and all that stuff. No, we need the Supersonics back. I'm just saying. So these guys are back for the first time since 1995. It's amazing. They've released every colorway almost of the City Pack. Actually, they've almost released every single original colorway of this shoe. Did you know that? We're missing a couple. The purple ones? The Sacramento's. Not my favorite. I think that they would have been super sick just like this, but instead of green purple, that would have been epic. That reminds me. Do you remember the women's colorway? What were they called? I think they were called like the lilacs or something like that. They look just like this, but instead of black, it's like a really soft gray and then instead of the green it's like a nice violet color oh man those are so fresh and that was back when they first did the, the women's thing so like they actually went to like a, a men's a really high size i don't even remember but like they you can get them as a guy i never did though but i wish that i did but they are missing the sacramento and the new york pair i wanted to guess the next color oh my bad the orange one where is it orange the stripes no 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 they look just like the ones you're wearing they're literally white black and royal and then the jump man. The blue's probably a slightly different shade, but essentially it's the same. Shade. But I believe that those are the only ones that have not released from the original lineup, unless you count the sample version. Or it wasn't even a sample, they did actually put out some, but they were like, they were supposed to be recalled, but they weren't the ones with the toe cap. I never liked those. It looks so weird to me. I like this, the clean one. That's something that a lot of people don't like actually. They think that the 10s look too plain, which I understand. They're not as fancy as the 11s. They're not as rugged looking as the 9s. They're just kind of in between. See, and I think the 10s are what the nines were aspiring to be. What do you mean? They were trying to come up with the tens, but they made the nines and they went, you know how we can make this look better? And then they made the tens. I disagree. I believe that Tinker made the nines and then he said, you know, they told me to cancel the line, but we're not gonna do that. Cause th this was supposed to be a tribute shoe cause he was retired at the time. And so that's why it's got all that cool stuff on the bottom that is really dirty right now, but I will show you an overlay that is not. So if you have owned a pair of tens, you pretty much owned a pair of tens. Like they're all the same. There's not much to talk about in terms of actual features and everything. However, this is like the turning point of the original line of Air Jordans. This is when they started to get really comfortable. So this is a top loaded air unit. It's full length. It's not encapsulated inside of some really rock hard polyurethane. Shout out to the Jordan 9. And I believe the foam was changed in this shoe too, because this feels softer than polyurethane. So I don't know if this is Phylon or if this was the first iteration of Phylon. I know that the first time that they actually like promoted it was with the 11s and all that stuff, but this is a much lighter weight, nicer feeling midsole than the Jordan 9 and the previous models before it. This is also a really great shoe to play in. The 10s, the 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s, those are the best of the best as far as what most people consider to be the Air Jordan line. Because a lot of people stop counting them at. 14 i don't know why there's 34 shoes <laughs> like, it's like how are you gonna just cut out half of them well if you, they don't cut it off at 14 then you have the people who cut it off at 23 or there's people that cut it off at 13. oh yes they don't like the 14s for some reason now the materials on these guys if again you've owned a pair of 10s before even the the crappy years of retros then they've always done the jordan 10 really really nicely in my opinion and this one is no exception you got really nice leather throughout the entire upper i'm actually impressed with these it feels like every time they do a 10 it's always done pretty much right and i think it's because of how simple the shoe is there's not a lot to it it's just one main panel a couple of overlays and then you got the the lacing area and all that stuff so i don't think it's as intricate as maybe the 11 or the 12 with all the stitching, the 13's paneling, all that kind of good stuff. So 10's to me always come out really, really nicely and they're just an elegant looking shoe in this color blocking. There's something about white black with a pop of color. I don't know what it is, man. That gives me a sneaker boner. I'm not gonna say nerd boner. If you guys watched our last upload, maybe you know. Two uploads. Two uploads ago, mm -hmm. but it was just in the one we just uploaded. I thought this is tomorrow's video. Oops. 
Always listen to the, your to your wife, folks. <laughs> Always listen to your wife. Now these guys are an OG version of the 10, so that's why you see the rear Jumpman facing what some would consider the wrong direction. This is just kind of how they were made. Although if you watch MJO23 Dan, our friend Marvin, he's got, I think he's got all of them. I think he has the entire original set of 10s and they're all different. I think it'd be harder to figure out what he doesn't have. This is true, but he has the original, you know, lineup of 10s and all that stuff. And every one of these shoes almost was like made in a different factory, even the same colorway which is crazy to me. So you have some shadows that were made in one place, some shadows that were made in another place, and they have different facing Jumpman. Some face each other, some face left, some face right. It's the weirdest fucking thing ever. I don't know what was going on back then, but I think they were just shopping around, seeing who can make shoes the cheapest. So these guys are just like the Orlando pair, just like the Chicago and Shadows. So those are the ones where they all face left on these like OG retros and all that stuff. However, they did do something a little bit different with this one, and that is that they went back to putting the number screen printed on the inside which is really cool they've done that for some of the Jordan ones and all of that and then also the sizing tag is not that weird like heat pressed plastic thing they went back to stitching it on there is that like on yours can you see mine's a oh yeah it's tag. got that I forgot about that tag so a lot of the Jordan retro tens have this weird patch on there that was never on the shoe originally it's got this weird it looks like some clothing apparel or something like some like weird that you see in the 90s and instead they put it back the way that like the original shoes used to be so I think that that's really cool it might be something that a lot of people either don't care about or overlook. If you're an OG enthusiast, you might appreciate it. And then there is Nike Air on the inside. Of course, you can't see it on the outside, but it doesn't matter. And then you got the Jordan 23 logo stamped in there on the tongue. I think it looks great. You got the bungee system all the way down it. And then you got the, the next generation of speed lacing that I'm not going to do because every time I try to do it without my foot in there, it always fails. So that stuff though is speed lace system. I don't think it worked as well as the nines, to be perfectly honest. Well, that makes sense because the nine, it's just sliding across plastic. Correct. This is fabric on fabric. Right. Exactly, and so sometimes it snags and all that stuff because of the nylon. And again, these are fantastic shoes to play in. If you have played in a pair of Jordan 10s, let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. I know that the traction looks like but it actually works. And how nice is that? And not right now because it's dirty, but how nice was that beautiful pop of yellow right there? And as far as fit is concerned, again, if you've worn a pair of Jordan 10s before, you already know, but I go true to size. Some people go down half a size because the, the toe box, they feel is a little bit roomy. So you could do either of the two things. If you are a wide footer, which you are, yeah. you go you go true to size and they take a little bit, but they do break in because it's a nice leather. You know, put some love into your shoes. Go true to size if you're a wide footer and you should be good to go. Retail price is going to be 190. Release date's going to be in the description box if you don't know it and that pretty much takes care of it thank you so much for watching thanks for all your support let us know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section which of the city pack is your favorite by the way i would love to know there's chicago there's orlando there's new york sacramento seattle did the unc's count was that a was that part of the city pack but that's not a team team well it is a team team it's just not like a nba team exactly i'm gonna throw them in there okay a bonus yes a bonus it's like the sixth power ranger it's the special one okay it's just it's it is what it is. It's the Tommy of the group. Oh. Isn't that the Tommy this of the group? This is the Tommy of the group, but he's actually part of the group this time. So this is kind of like Zero Ranger 2. Correct me if I'm wrong with my nerd knowledge, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. So we have another giveaway for uh, our monthly, right? Yep. October 1st. This is our big giveaway for the month. For all of our Discord community members. If you guys don't know what the Wear Testers com Discord community is, this is a place full of awesome people. There's like 200 or so. Yep. No trolling, all of that stuff. Everybody, even if they don't agree, okay, that's a little bit different than the rest of the internet. So if we don't agree with each other, which is quite often, we have actual discussions about it and nobody's mad at each other afterwards. It's like an actual community. It's like a group of people that work together. Yes, I am saying that semi-sarcastically because, you know, the internet is full of a bunch of he has babies. I'm probably going to get censored. <laughs> so. Look of disappointment right here. Yeah, she, she's probably like, why'd you have to go there, bro? You know, that's just my thoughts on everything, okay? It's amazing. I really dig it. If you wanted to also join that, it helps us out. It's why we were able to do these reviews and all that stuff. They support the channel more than just in, you know, watching, liking, commenting, all of that stuff, which is a great way to support the channel as it is. So as a thank you, our gold team members who are the ones that put up the most funds or whatever per month, we do a, a monthly giveaway. This this month's winner is right I can't remember which side. Uh, actually, side? I think I put their name up here. Okay, so I, I was pretty sure. Yeah. So it's going to be right here, but we'll also announce it in the community. And um, it's these bad boys right here, man. These are... Oh, man, this is what I wanted to do with those. But I already worn them. Oh, real leather. Nothing beats it. Well, there's a few things.
And anyways, these are the uh, the Ralph Sampson lows. Who doesn't like a fresh pair of white on whites? Even yeah, though it's these kind are of, super nice. It's kind of late in the year for something like this, but as long as it's not raining in your area, there's nothing better than a pair of fresh white on white shoes. <laughs> but as for these, uh, you actually like the Jordan 10s, even ah. though you're squeak. That's a <laughs> that's a major complaint though. So you got to let it out. It's a major, it, you're oh, not man. the only one. I've been behind the camera for like over a half hour now, and it was one of those things where I'm trying not to make noise because that messes with the video mm -hmm. and I'm just standing there being like, I need to adjust my position, but my shoes were squeaking and so I'm like, and take a not, break. <laughs> it's not even just like a little squeak, it's like a Yeah. You know what I mean? And so you're just kind of like, bro, what the f It's yeah. because moisture is in the shoe because these are not well ventilated. But I don't even feel like it's a squeak under my feet. I felt like it was the top that was squeaking. Oh, your, yours might be the materials because they're made slightly different than the men's, but the men's shoes, it's under the insole. It's mm. the air unit is that there gets moisture inside there. Oh, right. I think you said mine doesn't have the air unit. In the your, yours is just in the heel. I made us twinsies today. Not exactly. I wore the fresh pair. I don't have green Even though ones. I really like the blue ones too, but these, are, these have not been out before. And this is that tag, if y'all can see it. That looked like a Bill Cosby sweatshirt. It does. So, it looks very much from that era. Yeah, and, and that patch I don't believe was on the originals. E even the lining is a little bit different. Yeah, I noticed um, that. Can I ask a newbie question? Go ahead. What's the nine for? Oh, that's my shoe size. That's it? That's your shoe size? Well, yeah, you already knew that though. No, I know, but I thought the nine was something significant because uh, the shoe size is on the tongue right there. No, I know, but this is how they used to do it. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Hopefully you guys caught that. I didn't, I thought Maybe you were- Maybe it went over your head. Wouldn't surprise me. So yeah, so <laughs> this is an original feature. Like they, they used to do this all the way back when like 1985, the Air Jordan 1. 